Hey everyone, this is Mayur. Welcome to ML Works. Today we'll be discussing about a text processing library called as Text Blob. We'll try to what implement few features available in this particular library. We'll go through one by one. First is tokenization. Second is noun phrase extraction. Noun phrase extraction followed by sentiment analysis. Then we'll do something called a spell checking. Then we'll try to do something called as pure tagging. Pure tagging. Okay, we'll cover all these topics. So before starting any text processing, we have to, we should have some text, right? So I'll take a review from some movie. Uh, let's see if. Uh, hangover hangover movie review okay let's see some review from hangover movie okay we are not seeing okay here we have it okay which is like simple sentence we don't have to clean it up actually we'll just take some sentences okay okay but there are so many special characters are involved so let's take something simple okay one of the films bigger strength is okay okay i'll just take this two three sentence two sentences okay and let's paste it here text is equal to okay okay i'll just put it here and okay we have one of the film's biggest strength is its script and the way its characters pull the dialogue off the page and they do so in a way that it's so consistently funny and entertaining so it's a kind of a positive review okay next import our library text blob from text blob import text blob okay let's see okay it's included yeah we imported this one first thing is we'll try out tokenization tokenization is a technique to convert our paragraph into a list of sentences or we can convert our paragraph of sentences into a list of words so text blob is equal to text blob of our text we have okay now we can do something called as tv dot sentences it will give it will convert into our paragraph into the two sentences into its list of sentences this whole paragraph right into a sentence list of sentences okay yeah so it has done that okay next is what we can do is we can convert that into words also list of words okay we have done that then we can also do something called as word frequency so what we should understand is uh, based on our requirement we might need to what use any of these features sentences or dot words dot word counts so word counts will help us in what understanding what the topic is majorly talking about once we remove the stop words we can understand what the paragraph is talking about okay this is with respect to tokenization next we have something called as noun phrase extraction so noun phrase extraction is something called as it will extract what a noun from your sentence along with a functioning object or a subject related to that noun okay let's see uh, for instance we have this tb already so we can just do noun phrases let's see what it captures mm -mm. for example i guess it will give us yeah so one of the film's biggest strength is its script okay so consider there is a question okay from the first sentence what is the biggest strength of this film okay you can answer that it is a script okay so this is a noun phrase which has been extracted 
okay this is kind of a key information what non phrase uh, non phrase extraction does similarly there is some some in the next sen next sentence we have and they do so in a way that is so consistently funny and entertaining okay and the uh, way the character pulls the dialogues off the page so these are like some kind of what uh, key information right who pulls the what uh, who does the uh, job well actually okay the characters does the job well okay it tries to answer those uh, questions actually so these are kind of key information extraction can be done using noun phrases okay so next is we have something called a sentiment analysis what we'll do is we have already have our sentences okay first tb dot sentence is equal to tb dot sentences okay of zero then we'll convert that into string format let's see what we have here yeah so this is our sentence now we want to identify the sentiment of this sentence okay so we can do something called as sentiment okay i'm not sure if this will work or not so this is not working because this is a string format so what we have to do is first we have to convert this into text an instance of text blob and then we have to find the sentiment okay so this is actually the text blob is unable to let's see what is the sentence okay so here if we see right one of the film's biggest strength is its script and the way its characters pull off the dialogue of the page though we can understand while we are reading this dialogue that it is giving a positive vibe about the movie okay but the text blob what it tries to do right it tries to give a polarity of 0.0, .0 and subjectivity as 0.0, .0. meaning uh, let's see well, let's understand what these two things mean these two uh, parameters mean okay polarity is measured is measured between minus 1 to plus 1 so minus 1 means uh, negative sent negative uh, uh negative sentence okay positive one means a positive sentence okay so it uh, for this particular dialogue what it understood it gave 0, 0.0 which means it's neutral okay now this is with respect to polarity now when it comes to subjectivity right it is measured in between 0 and 1 okay and 0 means the sentence is objective and subject oh, so when it means 1 means it is subjective so in this scenario right it is subjectivity is zero it means it is considering this as an objective uh, sentence which is wrong actually and because it is it is based on the opinion of one reviewer actually this is not like what a generalized concept or it is a generalized factual based uh, sentence so this is wrong so let's see for what second sentence what we have okay if we see here uh, let's see what of the sentence and they do so in a way that is so consistently funny and entertaining okay so this is something like what funny and entertaining is there in this sentence so we have some polarity of positive polarity 0.375 and a 0 0.85 it is also subjective it is uh, this one it is able to what reflect the sentiment of the sentence actually because it is also subject to based on somebody's uh, what uh, opinion it is able to say it is like around score of 8.85 it is subjective somebody may not might not fi find it funny or might not find it what entertaining so it is bound to subjective so this is with respect to sentiment analysis next we'll do something called a spell checking okay okay 
spell checking there is a uh, one let's uh, write one sentence a misspelled sentence okay sentence misspelled this is my car okay next what we'll do is just a text blob of this particular sentence and then i'll do something called as correct let's see if it corrects this one so this is though this is wrong okay in the first place when we do dot correct this is also wrong actually hi is my car this is also wrong so it is not able to what correctly change our misspelled word it is changing the context itself actually so something called as okay this is okay let's see this one it should what correct this sentence at least okay this is again this is misspelled what changing the context of this to his let's take this itself text blob is quite poor actually it means then okay so here also it is what failing uh, kind of very poor man this uh, text blob but spelling mistake okay spell check it is not doing well okay at least it is doing this thing correctly okay let's okay next what we'll do is we can individual words can be what corrected with some uh, with some kind of threshold we can check actually for example let's see i have something called let's we, we have some modules called as from text blob import we have something called as word followed by word list okay once we import those things we have we can do word of any misspelled word or if you don't know any word right uh, spelling of some mis thing you have misspelled it something like sent sentence let's see if it does this thing spell check okay so it is able to do this spell checking here and with the some confidence score and we can also accommodate let's see so here also it is able to identify the spell check and uh, yeah there is any spelling error is there we can check here okay this is one way to do it and next is pos tagging this pos tagging we can think in terms of uh, for example if anybody has worked on nlp systems right there is some a concept called as nr named entity recognition so in nr what we do is named entity recognition okay it tries to it tries to find words like name place things okay so currency number etc okay so pure is tagging helps in building such nr systems actually because these are like name is a noun okay place is also some kind of what grammatical term is associated with each of this term okay so let's see uh, we have some text called as oh, the book is on the is on the table okay let's see what is um, the pure pure tags for this uh, the sentence sorry okay here we have to do pos let's see let's see tx is equal to this one then tx dot pos tags here we are using the word book okay so it is a noun similarly for other words we have determinant noun and we is is a verb okay similarly there is something let's see if there is any word which we can come across uh, 
where the same word will have a different grammatical tag bank uh, for instance text2 is equal to I'm, I'm not able to recall any sentence let's see here okay bank has verb okay uh, banking banks how do you use to form something the fire was banked up okay let's see what it gives here next is tx is equal to text blob of text2 next tx dot pos tax so here we are using the word bank as verb so these are uh, some of the what features right like pos tank tries to capture actually from a sentence so, so we are almost done with what all the five features and there are like bunch of features which we can look at actually by just looking this tb dot right you can detect language if ends with format join json engrams you can convert into engrams a sentence then we can do parsing polarity we can check okay sentiment sentiment assessment let's see what is sentiment assessment okay we have some word right here somewhere we had sentiment assessment let's do sentiment assessment on this one will it give sentiment assessment let's see let's see here what i'll do is sent okay dot sentiment assessment let's see what it does okay it is giving right all this uh uh, how it measured the sentiment right the words which contributed to it so entertaining consistently funny so all these parameters gave this values actually three points point three seven five one subjectivity score of point eight five so this is cool so this library has lots of features and you can explore a lot actually so for this video i am going to restrict here and if you do like this video please do subscribe We'll see some other uh, library in the next video. Thank you.